Here are all of my predictions, rumors, tea on General Conference coming up this weekend. All opinions are my own. I don't have any insider info. I just love General Conference. Here are all the general authorities and officers. Here is everyone who spoke last conference. Here's everyone who spoke the time before that and the time before that. So based on that, here is my master plan of what I think we're looking at this weekend. First of all, I think we're going to hear from Elder Mark Pace because I predict we will see the Sunday School Presidency reorganized this year. The Sunday School Presidency generally serves around five years, and this April marks that milestone, so we may see this particular presidency reorganized. It's fairly traditional for all of the apostles to pretty much speak every conference, so it is sticking out like a sore thumb that we have not seen our beloved Elder Holland speak in the last two conferences. He's been dealing with intense health struggles and the passing of his wife, so certainly he has good reason, but I personally miss Elder Holland, and I would love to hear him speak again. I think it's very likely we'll hear from Elder Kieran speak since he just got called as an apostle very atypically over a newsroom statement instead of at general conference, which is what's happened the last few times. He is replacing Elder Ballard in the quorum who passed away this last year. His spot in the presidency of the 70 was filled by Marcus Nash, so I think we might also hear him speak this conference. Going down to the general officers, Sister Spinaus in the Young Women's Presidency has not spoken in general conference since she was called in April of 2023, so I do hope we hear from her. Same with Michael T. Nelson, who was also called in April 2023 to the Young Men's Presidency. Uh, Brad Wilcox last spoke in October of 2021, so it's been a while. It's possible we hear from him, but I'm putting my feelers and bets on Elder Nelson for this conference. Sister Susan Porter also hasn't spoken since her calling as the primary general president in April 2022, so it's possible we hear from her again. President Nelson obviously speaks every conference, but the last few he's been sitting down instead of standing at the pulpit due to his back injury. And at his age, I wouldn't be surprised if we only see him sitting from here on out and if he speaks less in conference than he used to when he first got called. But who knows? This prophet has proven to surprise us time and time again. I have kind of a question around the presiding bishopric. In October, Elder Kause will have served in this role for 10 years. So I think it's possible he gets released pretty much at any point from here on out. Historically, the role of presiding bishop was a calling he had for life, but now the role serves shorter terms. But as you can see from this chart, the last handful of presiding bishops have kind of been all over the map. So it's hard to pinpoint exactly how long Elder Kausay's term of service is gonna be, but this one's just kind of good to keep on the back burner radar. I'm predicting that someone's gonna at least mention the Kirtland Temple or the recent purchase from the Community of Christ, maybe in connection with like the unfolding restoration or something along those lines. I've been hearing speculation that the church is gonna announce that the JST will now be like canonized in the standard works now that we've acquired the JST manuscripts from the Community of Christ. However, I don't think this one has much water. If anything, I would expect them to maybe publish a new edition of the JST, maybe through the Church Historians Press, but honestly, the Church and BYU have already published several editions of the JST in cooperation with the Community of Christ that I just don't see it as a super high priority at the moment. Even the manuscripts are already digitized and publicly available in the Joseph Smith papers, though I did notice that the manuscripts still have this disclaimer about the Community of Christ's ownership, so it's possible that specific verbiage gets removed soon. In light of yesterday's announcement, I'm guessing maybe someone will at least mention the new hymn book, maybe one of the general authorities who have been working on the committee or overseeing that process. And lastly, I've been hearing some speculation about re-emphasizing the importance of consistently wearing the temple garment. I don't have any insider info on this. I don't know if this is actually going to be brought up in conference, but I personally don't think I could have said it any better than Emily Bell Freeman last conference. Just paraphrasing, she basically said, I wear the temple garment to the degree that I want a relationship with Jesus Christ. When life gets hard, I'm strengthened by the symbols and covenants of the temple, and I know that God has a work for me to do. That's why I wear the temple garment as a constant reminder. So find out with me if any of these guesses come true by watching General Conferences Saturday and Sunday on the church's YouTube channel.